Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva. And I'm gonna be filming a planner favorites video. This was requested by the amazing Regina YCS11. Regina, I think that's your name. Thank you so much for just being the ultimate supporter. You're always leaving such kind comments and they really make my day and really motivate me to continue making content. I am so 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 honored that you take the time out of your day to just sit down and write a lovely comment. It really means so much to me and I just appreciate you so much. Thank you a million times from the bottom of my heart. But Regina requested a planner favorites video. Um, where I share all of the tools and things that I use, I guess beyond planners and stickers in order to set up my spreads. This is a video I've always kind of thought about filming, but I always hold back on it because I always think that the tools that I constantly use are pretty boring and pretty standard and I felt like no one would want to watch a video about all of my boring tools. But since Regina requested it, of course I had to do it. And so I just sat down and brainstormed a list of all of my favorite planner tools. And I'm gonna be sharing with you those items in this video today. I wasn't sure exactly what to categorize as a favorite. I wasn't sure whether this was something that I used constantly or whether it was something that I used less constantly, but something that I just really, really liked. So for the most part, these items are things that I use constantly, but there are a few items here and there that I don't use as constantly, but I just really, really like. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Oh, and also Regina requested maybe sharing some of my storage solutions as part of this favorites video. And I'm actually gonna make a whole separate video about my crafting planner space and how I store things. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But this video is just gonna be tools. So we're gonna start off with my pencil case. And I guess this is one of my first favorites. This is my Vasky, Vashi, I don't know how to pronounce this, pencil case. It's in a gorgeous burgundy and it's a huge pencil case. It's pretty, pretty big. I got this off of Amazon and I really, really like this pencil case. So this is probably one of my favorites. This is where I keep the majority of the tools of my trade. I switch in and out of pencil cases, but this is probably the one that I constantly go back to. I like it so much because it's huge and it fits so much and it has so many pockets. It has mesh pockets, two mesh pockets on this side. It has a, a built-in like pencil holder and it also has two removable pencil holders. So I have kept in one, but I took out the second one because I wanted to put more stuff here at the bottom. I find that if I have all three of the inserts in here, then I can't really put anything in the bottom. So I always just leave one insert in here and then this one is removable and then this one is not. So I always have to have this one in, but I could take this one out and put more stuff here at the bottom, but I kind of like having the just two inserts and then having stuff here at the bottom. And then it has a really deep bottom, so it fits a lot of stuff. And there's a pocket, like another mesh pocket underneath all this stuff. So this pencil case is probably one of my favorites. Moving on to like writing utensils, I would say that the clean color dot pens are probably a recent favorite. I got these maybe about almost a year ago. My friend recommended these to me and I picked up a 12 pack from an online stationery store and these really have revolutionized my planning game. They're just amazing for creating checklists, to-do lists, and they're double-sided as well. They have a 0.5 millimeter pointed tip as well as a dot tip, so you could use these as pens or markers as well, and these are wonderful. I love the colors. They're fantastic, so love these. Okay, this is something that I use quite a bit. I'm sure tons of people use this, but I just wanted to share that I love my Tombow adhesive. I've actually tried both the like traditional one that comes in the blue case and then the dots one, which has the pink case, and I like the blue one better. I think this thing is fantastic. It works really, really well. It's very smooth, and I just love this thing so much. So there's that. 
Okay, and then let's talk about scissors. I have a pair of Fiskars scissors here, and I highly, highly, highly recommend the Fiskars scissors, and I actually got this one, which has a holographic glitter, kind of in a black base, and it's just super, super pretty. I used to have a cheap pair of, of like, no-brand scissors before, and it just was such a bad pair of scissors. It was not sharp at all, it wouldn't cut very well, and this Fiskars scissors is just so sharp and cuts the thickest of scrapbook paper really really well and I just love the handle it's beautiful and it's just such a good pair of scissors these are a little pricey so I always try to pick these up like with a coupon or on sale and they just last you for a very long time this is actually like my second pair of Fiskars scissors because I accidentally brought the first um, in my planner pencil case when I was flying and they confiscated this from me at the airport, so I had to buy another one. Okay, let's talk about my tiny little pair of micro scissors here. I got these at Hobby Lobby, and they're just a tiny little pair of scissors, but the blades are nice and sharp, and I like these because these are perfect for carrying around in my pencil case, so that way I don't have to carry this big old guy, and I also can fly with these little scissors. These are also perfect for doing like detail work, cutting around stickers, um, I particularly like using these to cut washi, but these are just perfect for cutting anything. Although honestly, I don't really use these to cut like scrapbook paper or to cut like large pieces of paper. These are more for detail work and just that like, quick little snip snip. But usually I'm not really trying to cut like scrapbook paper. Um, when I'm out and about with my pencil case. So those are perfect for just on the go. Okay, let's talk about another Tombow product here. This is my corrective tape and I have the Tombow Mono Air 5. This thing is fantastic, super smooth. It's reusable so you can switch out the cartridges for bigger or smaller widths of tape and this thing is just so smooth and fantastic and I love it so much so this is an all-time favorite. Okay, moving on to highlighters. Um, I have to shout out the mild liners. Everyone and their mother uses mild liners and for good reason. They're just so smooth. They're double ended. We have the nice angled chisel cut on one end, which is what I tend to use more of, but you also have the pointed tip as well, and I just love the soft colors, the pastels, and they come in so many different colors. I'm always pulling for the mild liners. They're perfect for absolutely everything, and I just love them, so mild liners are definitely a staple for me. Okay, the next item that I want to talk about is my ruler. This is a very beat up ruler. <laughs> it's not the prettiest and it's just a standard one foot ruler with inches on one side and centimeters on the other. It's a little banged up on the edges and I kind of want to get a new one. I actually am keeping my eye out for a new ruler, but what I like about this one is that it's very solid. It's very durable. I got this at Yosemite National Park when I was there with a friend a few years back and so it's meaningful to me as well and it's just gorgeous to see all the photos of Yosemite. I actually had a similar ruler to this from the Petrified National Park but that one actually broke pretty early on. The national parks often come out with these rulers and I, I like to pick them up when I see them. So next time I see one, I think I'm gonna pick it up because this one is so banged up. But it still works and I just like how it's clear. I really like when rulers have that like clear edge so that way you can really see the markings on the page. But yeah, that is my ruler. Super, super useful in cutting scrapbook paper and just drawing straight lines. Love it. Okay, let's talk about um, kawaii pens. I just had to talk about these. I'm a huge lover of kawaii pens. And um, actually, these all these pens are like used up. Like I've used them so much that they don't even write anymore. But I like holding on to them. Um, and I have some simply gilded ones here as well. These aren't really kawaii, but they're just really pretty. I like to hold on to some of my more like decorative decorative pens. Um, just because they're really, really cute and I like kind of just having them out as decoration for my like craft space. I tend to get them at like Japanese bookstores, Daiso, anything that sells like kawaii stationery. I have my little collection here of pens 
And actually these pens tend to write really, really well. They tend to have a fine tip, like a 0.5 millimeter or less, and they're really smooth. They do last for a while, but they do eventually run out. I actually have, I think my latest Kawaii pen is this super, super cute little pumpkin pen. I got this in Little Tokyo in Los Angeles at this amazing Japanese bookstore. It's so, so cute. I love the Kawaii pens. I think they act as both decoration and functionally as well. And I just like holding on to them and collecting them after they've been used up. So Kawaii pens are one of my favorite things. And talking about pens, um, I really like the Paper Mate flares. This is kind of a recent discovery. I discovered them within the last year. Paper Mate flares are 0.5 millimeter markers and they come in a lot of colors. And I just really like them because they're nice and smooth and pigmented. They last forever. They're really bold and they come in so many colors. And a couple of these I actually got from like a scented pack. And so all of them smell delicious. And I just really like how they write and how your writing comes out when you write with a paper mate flair. And so these have rapidly become some of my favorite pens to write with. Okay, and then moving on to just normal black pens, I have to talk about my Pilot G5s or V5s. So Pilot Precise V5s, these are rolling ball pens and I have them in the 0.5 millimeter. This is the extra fine. I love the classic black, but I also have like other colors. I have a blue and a purple here and my puppy chewed up the end of this pen. She's chewed up so many of my pens since I got her, but I love her. I really, really like how these pens write. They're just really smooth, really pigmented, really precise, and I just, I love how the Pilot V5s make your writing look, so I'm a huge fan of these. Oh no, I messed up my nail, oh well. Okay, and then I had to talk about the Pilot G G Tech C4s. So these are also from Pilot Brand and they're just a very, very, very fine pen. These are 0.4 millimeters and I love me a good 0.4 millimeter. Whenever I wanna write really small, really precise, I go for my Pilot G Tech C4s. So I have one of these in here. Okay, moving on, um, let's talk about this right here. I really like this. This is my washi tape holder. I got it at Daiso and it holds about, you know, four to five washi tapes depending on the size, but it's just a nifty little contraption that um, holds in a washi tape and there's like a little strap that holds the rolls in. It buckles on the side there and then the whole thing buckles together. It's clear so you can see what you have in here. It has a little ball chain in case you want Want to like i don't know clip it onto something but i really like this it keeps my washi tape nice and organized i try not to carry like too much washi tape with me because then this thing gets way too bulky but i do have five rolls in here and then i just have this like roll just rolling around i'll let myself carry like one roll beyond what can fit in this washi tape also i'm trying to finish this washi tape i'm so close to finishing it i probably only have like a little bit a few inches left on this so i'm just holding on to it until it's done okay and then the last thing that i want to talk about this is really really new to me this is from the cafecito designs advent box this is a washi tape color a washi tape cutter. It has this gorgeous holographic design on it and it's in the design of the Papel Picada which is um, a day of the dead, Dia de los Muertos design and this thing is so cute, it's so easy to use and I've never had a washi tape cutter like this. I've always just used scissors or kind of just used my hands to rip the washi tape, but this has really been a game changer. It's very, very recent, so I'm kind of hesitant to call it a favorite, but I have been like falling in love with it for the last couple of days. And so I just quickly wanted to shout this out. And I guess while I'm in here, I just wanna mention a few things. This sharpener, this metal sharpener is like an oldie but a goodie. It's so, so good. I don't even know what brand this is from, where I got it, but it's been with me for a minute and it's still super sharp, super easy to use, and I love it so much. 
And I guess I just have to mention this ruler. This is my on-the-go ruler. Again, I try not to carry like some of my bigger items when I'm out and about. If I want to carry my pencil case to like a coffee shop or to work or to just like someone's house, I'm trying not to carry too much. But I do want to have some of my staples. So I have this ruler. This is a Toy Story ruler that I got at Daiso. It's a little bit flimsy but it definitely does the job. Like it gives me a foot long ruler if I need it and it folds down to a nice respectable size. So that's super convenient and I like having it in here. Okay, and I guess I do want to mention one more thing in here. My jelly roll sakura pens from Japan. These things are just fantastic. These are probably my favorite gel pens. Again, they're kind of like a planner staple. I feel like everyone uses these. And I just love how they come in different textures. We have like the metallic ones. We have the neon ones. We have like regular ones. They're just so pigmented and so beautiful and they just give like an extra pop to the page and so I'm just, I love my jelly rolls. This one's my all-time favorite, the hot pink one. Okay, I think that's it that I want to talk about in this letter case. Okay, I quickly want to talk about undo. This was something I never thought I would get into. I always just thought that it was like way too much. It was going too far. I was just like, that's way too much work. If I don't like a sticker placement, then too bad. I'll live with it. You know, I'll live. Nothing terrible is going to happen. There's no way I'm going to put undo on a page, wait until it dries, peel it off, put it back on. But then the reason I ordered this was for a completely different reason altogether. So I actually have a bunch of bumper stickers on the tire cover of my RAV4. I have a 2010 RAV4 and if you've seen those cars, you know that they have like the spare tire on the back door and it's covered by a wheel cover. And my wheel cover, unlike like a Jeep or something, which their wheel cover is covered in canvas usually, my wheel cover is covered with that hard plastic material that matches like the color of the car. And I really liked putting my like National Park bumper stickers on my tire cover. And so I had a bunch of National Park stickers on my tire cover. It looked super, super cute. I'll pop a picture of it on the screen if I can find one. And then one day I went to go get my car wash, like an, uh, an automatic car wash. I put my car through the wash. I've put my car through the wash like this dozens of times before. And this day, I think my tire cover was a little loose and it was completely ripped off and crushed. And I lost like most of the stickers that were on that tire cover. But I was able to like recover the wreckage of my spare tire cover and rescue some of the stickers and how i rescued them was i ordered like a big bottle of undo and i dumped it basically on my tire cover and peeled off those stickers and i really really needed something like heavy duty to peel those stickers off because those were like the heavy duty vinyl stickers that go on you know water bottles or like just surfaces that get a lot of, I guess, damage and wear and tear. And so these stick really, really, really good to whatever they're stuck to. And also they had been on there for like, in some cases years, and they had basically melted into the tire cover because of all of the sun and the weather damage and all that. And so I was able to peel some off with undo but not all of them. Anyway, so I had a big bottle of undo, and so I figured I might as well start, you know, trying it out with my planner, and I really, really liked using it. There are times when I just want to rearrange some stickers, not often, and I try not to use this too much because it is like the extra step, but I do really like it, so happy with this. And also, something that I've just started doing is I grabbed this little like trial bottle. I got this at Daiso and I filled it with undo. So that way I'm not pouring like a whole bunch on the page and it has that like tiny little hole that I can just dribble a little bit of undo. So undo planner favorite. Okay, let's talk about stamps. Um, let's talk about stamps. Okay, um, I really, really like my letter stamps. This was the first letter stamp set that I ever got. And it's kind of like a vintage -y font, 
it's very decorated. And these are all lowercase as well. And I have some punctuation, but these are all lowercase. I actually ha just got another set of both upper and lowercase in a more clean, modern font. I actually found them at my local thrift store. But letter stamps in general, I think, are a planner essential. There's just times when you just want to stamp something out. I do have like alphabet stickers and those are great, but the alphabet stickers, you know, you can run out of letters. You might not be able to create like the entire word or sentence that you want to create based on the stickers that you have left. But with stamps, you're always able to create whatever you need to create in the same font. So these are very well loved and well used and love those. And then just like those other stamps, these are another staple. These are number stamps and I love these. I like the font, it's very classic, very traditional. I love how it's zero to 31 and it also includes some of these letters. These are perfect for dating and redating planner pages. Actually, I just got these a few months ago and I've been loving them so much. So happy I got these. Okay, and then the last two stamp sets that I wanna talk about, these are my Kawaii Rilakkuma stamp sets and these are just so much fun and some of my favorite like planner accessories I've ever purchased. I got these in Little Tokyo in Los Angeles at a Japanese bookstore and I totally regret not picking up more sets, but these are just adorable little stamp sets. It comes with a stamp pad. This one came with red ink and it came with eight tiny little stamps featuring the Rilakkuma characters. Some of them have English words and some of them have Japanese words and they're just so, so cute and they're just su such an easy little like addition to any planner spread. So I love those. And then very similar to that one, this one is just a larger set. It comes with two stamp pads, a black and a red. So here's the black and it comes with a lot more stamps here. And again, some of these are English words and some of these are Japanese words. I am learning Japanese right now and there was a point in my life where I could tell you what this says, but it's been a while since I brushed up on my hiragana and katakana and so I don't know what this says. But again, these are just super, super cute and really fun to work with and so I love these, my really cool stamps. And speaking of stamps, I just wanted to shout out this one. This is a very classic checklist stamp. It's well used, well loved, and this is just such an easy way to throw down a little checklist. I love functional stamps like this so much, and yeah, this one's just a favorite. Okay, let's talk about some larger items. This is just a classic Fiskars paper trimmer. I think this is in the smaller size or a medium size. I think they definitely make them bigger. I actually have a bigger one as well, but this one was the first one I got, and it is just so nice. It cuts scrapbook paper and anything very, very well. The blade is nice and smooth and the cut is sharp. And this is just, again, like a paper crafting staple and I love it. Okay, let's talk about punching. So I just needed to mention and shout out my big Happy Planner punch. I have this in like the homebody design. It's super, super cute and it's just so functional. I've used this so much. It helps me just punch whatever I want and put it into my happy planner. And then this is a new addition. I just got this like a few months ago, the crocodile paper punch, just to punch out one at a time. This is so convenient and so useful because I cover up the holes while I'm decorating so much. And it's just so easy to like, just punch out that one hole. So again, kind of recent, but very, very useful and definitely a favorite. And I thought it would be fun to mention um, these binder rings. These are very, very useful for combining sticker books from the Happy Planner. This is my fitness planner stack. And I just like combining different happy planners together, like particularly like the seasonal ones. I have like a winter and Christmas sticker pack that I combine with these rings and I have one for every season. And I feel like this is an unsung hero. They're just very useful, very convenient. And yeah, they're a favorite. 
Okay, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is this. This is my cat calculator. I got this from Amazon and it's just so cute. This is like essential for my budget planner. I always have this cat calculator out when I'm in my budget planner and it's just, I love how big the numbers are. It's very easy to use. It sits very cute on my desk. The screen is really big. It's solar powered. So it's been lasting forever and it's just so cute, so big and very easy to use. And it just makes, you know, crunching the numbers in my budget planner that much easier and funner. Anyways, those are all of my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments down below. I would love to know. But with that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed and Happy planning. Bye.